What's going on? Thanks for checking in. Have a very special video for you today. We're talking cricket, building power, building strength for cricket. I got the blokes from across the pond. I got Mr. Julian Wood, the bat power guru. Hi guys, uh, Julian Wood here um, in Florida, US. Uh, the reason I've come here is to Summer's Method. I uh, saw so this guy's training methods, they're fantastic um, for cricket. It's a new way, the way the game is evolving. It's a new way of training, um, whether you're a young player, a franchise player or international player. Um, as you'll see, it's a great product, what we've got here, and uh, it's the future. And I got his son, Dub, here, all right? So today, he's going to take you through a batting routine to add big power in cricket. Then I'm going to go ahead and blend that with my strength and conditioning program, and you're going to see how the two of them can work together. Ultimately, you know, what did you gain this month? You gained six pounds here for three weeks, right? And your exit velo off a tee went from what? It went like 65 up to 71. So it's, yeah. it's massive in a short period of time. So why not blend what I'm doing here with my baseball players with the cricket, with the rotational athletes, and you know, see what we can make happen. Okay, so what we're gonna do to start with, you're just gonna warm up, just again, checking our exit velocity with normal batting and then ball striking. All right, so we do um, six, we do six normal batting and then we do six looking to hit the ball. Okay, and we're just again, a little check on the exit velocity to make sure we're, uh, we're good on that. Okay, right now, let's look to go big now, okay? To keep your shape, think of the angle, we're looking to go straight. Good, very good. Okay, last two. Excellent. Okay, so the difference, when you get it right, you'll feel it when you get it right. The exit velocity is obviously higher. When you get it slightly wrong, there's a big difference. It's like four or five miles an hour, if not more. And that evaluates the distance as well. Okay, so as a player, you know when you've got it right. So what we're gonna do now is go um, thin bat with mini pliables. So these are weighted, seven ounce. Um, pure contact and uh, swing efficiency. Um, if you get it right, the balls basically stay round. If you don't, they basically go sideways and they go slightly oval shaped, as you'll see. So again, instant feedback for the player. Ready, go. Good, couple of more, four more. Good. Okay, great stuff. Basically, a shot efficiency, when you get it right, everything goes in a straight line to the ball, through the ball, ball stays round. When you don't, you've got a couple of those, you've got a bit inside them, so they went slightly oval, and the ball doesn't go where you intended to go. Okay, great drill. Okay, what we're gonna do now is go to the overload, um, underload phase. Um, so I've got a weighted bat. Uh, this is 20% heavier than a normal bat. Uh, and then we've got weighted balls that are soft. Um, tap balls, this is 21 ounce. We go down to 15 ounce. And then we go cricket ball with his bat. All right, so we'll overload three of each. And then we'll go underload with his bat and normal ball. Okay? It's all about contact this. So we'll do three of each. Good. Yeah, same back. Good. Yes, right, Tekkers. Good. Right, your bat now. So now we go his bat with normal balls. Oh, hello. One more. Sixer. Okay, excellent. So if you look there, with the underload overload effect, his ball exit velocity with the first one he hit 
was two miles an hour higher than his previous, right? So that's a feel thing, all right? Obviously, if you've got something heavy and you use something light, it's gonna be quicker. So he has that ability in him. We've just gotta train it, and that's what we're doing here. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is go again. I increase the overload factor. Um, this is plus 40% um, of a bat. So he's gonna use the blue ones, 21 ounce with those, and then he's gonna use the 20, plus 20 with the yellow balls. Um, and then normal balls with his bat. So again, big overload now. Heavy, let's control it then. Okay. Okay, go so, yeah, your bat. Uh, green bat, sorry. Good. Just stay in there a bit longer. There you go. Okay. All right, let's go with these. Oh. Oh! One more. Great stuff. Brilliant. Okay, so you look there. We overloaded more. Suddenly we're getting over 70. So quick. It's so easy to do. And uh, this is the best place to do it. Fantastic place. That's the big question. Why wouldn't you? Why don't people? You know why? Because we've got... So much tradition in this game, people are scared to do it. But I tell you, this is the future. It really is. He's just gonna finish off, he's just gonna have a, have a general bat. He'll introduce it bat normally and then he'll introduce some hit inside of it as well. So basically just putting it all together. difference in two and a half weeks you know he's put on three kgs you know by when we measure him next week he could go up four kgs yep. and his ball exit speed the numbers it's all about the, the numbers go up and in a short period of time if you came here for two months oh, you'd, you'd be a different machine you'd be a different animal when you when you leave and it's all credit to nah. you because like what you're doing mate is, is like I said it's spot on it's a different level and cricket needs to find you out and it Thank will. You. All right, so Dubs just finished up batting. Now we're gonna take him through the strength and conditioning program. So how I like to program out every day is we do order of importance, simple as that. What's the most important thing right now in cricket? It's adding power. So after our movement prep, that's the very first thing we'll do. So you'll notice we're gonna do a jammer to med ball complex for power, max intensity. Then we're gonna do one for the lower body which is a single leg power complex. After that, that's when we're gonna move on to what's second most important, our strength. So we're gonna hit a big strength lift on the belt squat. Then after that, what's third most important is size, hypertrophy. So we're gonna go ahead and do an accessory hypertrophy block. So that's the system, start in order of importance, power, strength, accessory build. We're gonna roll through it, shouldn't take too long. Hope you enjoy. All right, Dubs, we're gonna go reverse hyper. You're gonna get in it, and then you're gonna do bad pull-aparts. So extend straight, squeeze your glutes and hammies. Right, now you're just gonna be here, roll your shoulders forward, roll it back and pull. 10 of them. Lay on your back. You're gonna do T-spine, so leg up and over on it. Pinch that foam roller, you're just gonna open up. Leave that hand down, 10 of them. All right, Dubs, leg up on it. Remember those pigeon pumps? Reach down with that hand, good. Come back, 10 of them. Oh, 
Hey, third. last one, 90-90 hip switch. 90-90 hip switch, pop down. Hey, you're gonna hug this ball. We have our uh, med ball 40s, remember? We're gonna go 10 pogo jumps through the ankle, then we're gonna go 10 for height. We're gonna ditch the ball. Yeah, yeah, then we're gonna ditch the ball, 10 through the ankle, 10 for height. So 40 total jumps, come over here on the turf. Just pop through the ankle. Now for height. I'll drop it. Now we'll go piston press. So go ahead, grab the six. You're gonna hinge over with your chest on the ground and you're gonna pump into the ground. You're gonna go 10 total. So here, hinge. Quick as you can. She should. Hey, so we're doing this power cluster. We're gonna do jammer press. All right, just normal out of your batting stance. You can do a couple different ones that you do, right? Your toe tap, step behind, whatever it is. And then we're gonna pair that with a medicine ball. Same complex as you did over there with the overload underload training. Now we're just doing that with the body, right? So we're gonna go overloaded with these jammer arms from Rogue Fitness. A couple other companies make them, but Rogue's the best one over here in the States. And then we're gonna go into a med ball drill paired with that. We're gonna go four rounds of it. In the weight room, right, he may not bat both ways, but here we like to train both ways just to even it out because you go into pattern overload, they call it. If you swing and throw one direction, one direction, things start to become unstable due to that pattern overload. So now when we get in the weight room, we can overcorrect that and work both sides of the body out. You just don't wanna be rotating one side. We're gonna go three big pops. Did it go good? Nice. Step back into it. How many? Three each side. What did they say? Hey, now we're gonna take a minute to two minutes off. Anytime you're doing power training like this, you wanna let the body recover. So in between this complex, we're gonna breathe. We're gonna take, chill out, take a minute, take two minutes, so we can perform the movement at max effort next set. Hey, next we're rolling another power cluster, just like we did for the upper half for building rotational power, right? But what else do you need in cricket? We need single leg power. What better way to do that? than a potentiation complex like we just did, or overload, underload training, and then regular body weight. So, same idea is gonna apply here. We're gonna go overload with high step ups, all right, high bench step ups. So Dubs is gonna grab heavier dumbbells. We're gonna go here, he's gonna hover the foot, go 45s or 50s. Hover the foot with dumbbells and step up. We're gonna go three each side there. That's gonna be our overload drill. Then Dubs is gonna go over to a reverse banded jump, which is gonna be his Good. underload. He's still hovering, slamming down. That band tension is gonna bring his body weight up. All right, then we're gonna go regular body weight, come back to the bench, do bench jumps. We're gonna go three sets here as well. And again, with these power clusters, we want to take long breaks in between each set, right? Because the last thing we want to do is let fatigue set in. Now Dubs isn't going to be able to jump as high as throughout this. When we're trying to build that power, right, we need to train at that higher intensity. All right, next, rolling into our strength block. Today, we're doing a bilateral lower body strength session. So meaning bilateral is two legs, unilateral be one. So earlier on in the week, I like to dedicate an entire day to unilateral, right? But today is the bilateral, today's the back end. So we're doing double leg strength move, and that is gonna be the belt squat. Dubs has had lower back pain in the past, so rather than putting a barbell on his back, putting the lower back at risk, 
We're going on the belt squat where the weight's connected around his waist. So now when he goes down, the spine isn't gonna be compressed. It can breathe and he can still get a heavy stimulus out of the legs. So we're going belt squat and then we're gonna pair that with a glute bridge. Now we're going on our hypertrophy build complex. So hypertrophy is growth of the muscle tissue. If you know you haven't been following me for a while and you never heard that term before. So basically, just getting swole, trying to get dubs big, trying to put on some muscle. Already up six pounds in what, three weeks? Yep, so just trying to progress, add some size on the, on the young man, on the boy. What do you say? Big boy? On a big boy. So we have Bulgarian split squat. This is one of my favorite exercises to build size of the quad of the VML if you're narrow, and then as you get wider, it's gonna to start to target that posterior chain, the glute, the hamstring. First set, we're going to set of eight here, lighter weight, so volume is gonna increase as intensity decreases. So go a set of eight each side here, Dubs. Real wide here on this, so he's gonna target glute, hamstring. Today is we hate this shit. <laughs> this accessory block is gonna be a superset as well. So he's paired these split squats with the more posterior chain dominant exercise, and that's gonna be a reverse hyper with the ball. So I'll show you this one. Hey, so Dubs is gonna go up here on a reverse hyper. A lot of you may not have access to this machine. If not, you could go on the ground. But picture that ball through, grabbing the uh, handles, and he's gonna come up. Squeeze at the top. He's gonna to try to pop that ball in between his legs. Go ahead. Eight of them. Good. As he comes up, he's pinching, squeezing that ball. This is gonna hit the lower erectors in the back, the glutes, the hamstrings. With franchise cricket around the world, this is the way these guys need to be training. Um, and I'm gonna be spending a lot more time in Florida and a lot of already had a lot of interest from uh, players from the UK, pros from the UK and Australia to come over here and and, uh, and give it a go. And you know, there's no guarantees in life, but I do guarantee results here. It's, it's in the figures there. The numbers you've seen them go up drastically as well. Thomas Summers' method is the place to be for not only baseball but also cricket. Now, let's go. Hey, that's a wrap. Thanks for tuning in. It's pretty cool to see, you know, how I'm training my baseball guys and then blending it over to cricket. It's all about building that big rotational power. Everybody likes to see the balls thrown a lot harder, hit a lot farther. So nothing is married better than baseball training, strength and conditioning wise, and then over to cricket. Very fortunate enough to connect with Mr. Wood. You know, he just reached out to me on Instagram, wanted to get dubs over here to get some work. But make sure you stay tuned because we're working on a project together. So if you're a cricket player, keep following along. We're going to be dropping something here very, very soon. And always remember that I pump out two of these videos per week. So do me a favor and subscribe. I appreciate you. We'll catch you next time. Game rewards are grind. It knows how much you've invested.